a greenhouse works by creating a roof and walls and a structure, and it usually lets light in and has some insulating capability. So you're creating a warm environment. And if a greenhouse is well designed, it retains some of that heat. The more thermal mass you incorporate into a greenhouse in the form of soil, in the form of water tanks or concrete, the more heat that you retain, the more successful you are at creating an environment that is ideal for plant growth. A greenhouse works by absorbing the sun's energy and keeping plants alive. Without the greenhouse, the plants are susceptible to frost and damage from the cold. But a greenhouse also works by keeping the rain out. A greenhouse can also work by keeping certain insects out. You can use insect netting. So really a greenhouse works by creating the ideal environment. You can also use evaporative cooling and other venting techniques to cool down the microclimate. When it comes to how a greenhouse works, it's all about the word microclimate. How are we able to raise the temperature or lower the temperature or raise the humidity or do whatever we need inside this growing area to optimize the conditions for growing food or growing plants? And usually greenhouses work with the power of the sun, although it is possible to incorporate lighting, it is possible to incorporate cooling and shading, and there's all sorts of techniques to manipulate temperatures and manipulate the microclimate. But essentially a greenhouse is a room that uses the solar energy to heat a space, creating ideal conditions for plant growth.